rugby and the sun is shining in Gisborne. And this is a Conquer Your Everest, a community walk. As people get a bit of fitness under themselves with summer coming and the beach bodies required. It's as good a way of doing it as any. Matt here at uh, Rugby Park in Gisborne. Beautiful day. Thought I'd start out by asking Matt, hey, are you going to get a meat pie today? Matt. Well, yeah, we're going to have a crack at it, which all Matt's are going to probably hopefully score today. Right, Matt, and your performance today, how do you think you're going to go? Uh, it's good, mate. Nice weather, so hopefully get, uh, get the ball rolling. Thanks, mate. That's <laughs> a lot of detail. OK, and Matt, uh, you're probably going to be operating in the back line today. Is that right? Uh, it's where I'd like to be, Matt, but um, unfortunately you keep putting me in the forward, so I'm not sure what's happening there. And, and lastly, Matt, uh, how the trainings go this week? Oh, we've basically worked on our defence. We did this defence that's basically spread across like a matte canvas D, just to press up in, in their face. So. so the matte D? Yeah, the matte D. Cheers, Matt. Yeah, sweet. Thanks. I'd just like to have a shout-out to uh, Matt back at home in the valley. Uh, good on you, mate. Thanks. Matt, 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 Matt and Matt. And the other Matt's still at home. Yep. The Swamp Matt's. Let's see how they get on. Ben O'Brien Leaf is our commentator. They have great ability... Alex Bradley, the number eight forward, a player of great reputation, strong carries by the Valley. Bradley's birthday today. The Valley have the ball there in control. And they've turned it over. Here's uh, Poverty Bay captain Tamanui Hill. And Tamanui Hill, that's a try here awarded by Munro. So Poverty Bay's captain, who scored a try in the last home game, has opened up by the big guns early. Tamanui Hill, rampaging ball. Tamanui Hill, the first try, 5-0. And Poverty Bay's captain. That's a remarkable start by Poverty Bay here. I admit to being astonished. An outstanding performer. Mario Council, Jesse Carpenty, the eight man. Poverty Bay keep the ball in the scrum. They're still going forward. Mario Council, right hand side, Tom Yosefo. Yosefo! Yosefo got close, he got it there, yes! Yosefo did enough! He did just enough! Tom Yosefo scores! Poverty Bay second try. And here on the wet and forget replay, it's the lightning speed, the skills, the quickness of Tom Yosefo. He can play anywhere in the backs, but this guy at first 5 eight, that close to the line, he's slippery. Down by 17 points, Bonner. Shapes his people up. That's a Ranger. The cat well, is that Ranger or Bradley? Bradley got there. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So that's a good try. The number eight, Alex Bradley on his birthday scores a magic try. Here on the Wet and Forget replay, it's Alex Bradley getting very low and obviously one of the finest, if not obviously, the finest back row forwards in this Heartland Championship. Exactly what the team needed. Watch for Bradley, the number eight. OK, Bonner has it. Bonner. Bonner's the danger man to watch here. The Valley continue to apply pressure to Poverty Bay. Uh, driving hard, the Valley. Bonner has it. They go back. Abraham got a good pass away. Cinevini Tupo, the big guy, got it in the corner. Cinevini Tupo got it in the corner. The tight end prop has his reward. You can't keep a good man down or hold him up. On the win, forget replay. The Valley got it to 15 to 20. Abraham over there with the last pass. The big guy, Sidovini Tupo, has a massive effect on this game. Richter scale try. The Valley still trail. They all held their breath. It's Broughton. Broughton with a pretty good kick. It looks good at the post and at the left post. So 15 to 20 at the moment, the Valley trails. Sidovini Tupo, the giant tight head prop, has the last say here in the first half. An exciting game. So different players bring different strengths to the game. Two halfbacks, very different players than their predecessors. Poverty Bay losing to Ipilotu. Santa Revi has come onto the field. Here's Tom Yosefo. Yosefo goes straight through and scores a try. If you hit the post with the ball in hand, it's a try. Got there, I think Bishop might have tried to get to him, but a little too late. So Poverty Bay score here. Now that's a tremendous try here on the wet and forget replay. Poverty Bay with speed, really, had the set scrum, and Yosefo, so quick, burned away from Fisher. Just hard to get a handle on Yosefo.
Strong stuff here by the Valley. Still down by five points. To the blind side, to Ranga. Ranga does well, runs into McDowell. <laughs> Don't like some big creature there making the tackle. Okay, nice pass there by Fisher and in the corner. They have gone in. Looks to be Abraham. And if so, he deserves it. He's played a fine game. Second by Matui Abraham, try. Okay, and try scorer here on the wet and forget replay. Matui Abraham got a good pass. How Rocky North's Fisher with a good pass over there to Abraham. The big dive in the corner. And now they've drawn level. Willie Grogan, 27 all. 27 all. Tamanui Hill, Willie Grogan. Grogan got loose. Grogan to ground. It's a ruck. And he's going to get a try as reward. McDonald has got a try here. Callum McDonald has got a try. And there's nobody who's put in a bigger effort than this man who wears his heart on his sleeve here on the Wet and Forget replay. It's now 32 points to 27. McDonald has scored for Poverty Bay. McDonald has really taken it to the valley up front. He's been superb. Now the time might have come for them to clear. And big. Tavalu there with a kick. Does he get it over the head there of a... Well, I thought that was... Uh, yeah, it is Broughton. Runs there. Oh, good pass. Here's uh, Lafatuanai. And breaks through and is going to score here. Well, does he get close enough? OK, he scored out wide. Lafatuanai has come back with the valley and scored a try here. Was superb play here. Lafatuanai, just acceleration, running hard, the step, the confidence. And that was a tremendous run by Lafatuanai. Hit that ball at ramming speed. Here today, it's been a spectacular game. Good scrum here, good platform here for the Valley. OK, penalty now, the Valley, they've got a penalty here. They've got a chance on the boot of Broughton. Here comes Reese Broughton with the biggest kick of week six in the Heartland Championship. It's long enough. It's long enough by Broughton. Has he got it? He has. He's got it, Reese Broughton. And it had yards left. That is a phenomenal effort. And it came down to the quick for sure by Broughton. A penalty from near halfway. Yeah, oh, we're stoked to come away with that win. Um, we played pretty average. These guys played a a uh, good running, hard, physical game, and yeah, we were lucky. We were lucky to come away with that win at the end there. Well, looking at these results, there have been some good games this week. Thames Valley getting the last ditch win there. What it up a bush over South Canterbury? That one, the game of the week, 27-24, and a whole raft of other great matches sees this table very congested. Yes, yeah, South Canterbury dropping away from Whanganui there, having lost that game against Wairapa Bush. But look at that, 22-22, 22-21. Remember, we've got to split that into four for the Meads Cup. And then 17-17, 16-14, somewhere. We've only got to get four more out of that little lot as well. It's tight in the heart. Yeah, Good on you, Marmite. We'll see how you get on next week as well against Buller. There's some important games, as there always is at this stage of the season. Perhaps the most important, right at the bottom, Thames Valley and Horofanua Kapiti. Both of those teams putting together quite good seasons. They're working hard and they're getting lucky. We'll be back same time, same place next week with all of the action from the second to last round of the Heartland Championship right here on Main Freight Rugby.